Hi guys, so today's look is going to be on the look I am wearing right now. It is a tutorial so you can transition your makeup from winter to spring. So since it is the end of February, I figured I might as well start kind of getting a jump start on spring trends for anybody who likes to just right away jump on board or maybe you're just sick of the winter trends. I think that this is a perfect look from going to winter to spring and since the theme of this year for the color is coral I figured I would use a lot of warm orangey tones like I have a coral lip on right now like a muted pale orange shade. I am using the Anastasia Soft Glam palette today because I thought with all of those pale orange tones it would just it just fit perfectly with the theme of the color this year. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy this tutorial and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the video. Bye. Okay, so my eyes are already primed and we're gonna be taking orange soda from the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. And we are gonna be taking this on a big fluffy brush and dusting it into the crease as our transition shade. I love this shade, especially as a transition shade because in the end it really shines through the entire look and just gives a really beautiful warm orange glow. So we're just gonna be blending it and it's also gonna add some dimension when we add a darker shade. So now I'm taking Sienna on a smaller, more precise brush. This is actually the brush that came with the palette and I love it. So we're going to be taking this and putting it into that deepest part of the crease on the outer portion. So the reason as to why we're keeping it on the outer portion is because in the end it's going to make your eyes look more open and my eyes were kind of puffy that day so that trick really came in handy. But we're just going to blend that all together and then go back in with that original fluffy brush with a little bit of orange soda, not too much, just a pinch, and blending that all together so then there are no harsh lines and it just helps everything blend and look more seamless in the end. Now we're going in with rose pink and I did use a brush initially but I found it actually applied better with my finger for some reason. Well probably because it packs on more pigment but we're going to be just rubbing that all over that eyelid but I decided to go in with a little bit of glistening because my eyes looked kind of dull, so it looks like I'm putting it all over the entire lid, but I actually put it on the inner corner and faded it out to the center, as you can see on this eye. Um, I didn't apply it over the whole lid, so it was kind of a fade from the shade glistening to the shade rose pink, and I thought in the end it was much better looking. And then taking Tempera to highlight the brow bone, I love this shade, especially for the brow bone, because it's not shimmery, but it's not matte. It's a really beautiful satin shade, so it gives a little bit of something. Then I went and did my brows, liner, and lashes off camera, and then going into the Ulta Beauty Contour Kit, taking the yellow highlight shade. I skipped foundation today and decided to use this because I as a concealer because I wanted my skin to breathe today. So this is what I do because it's basically the exact same shade as my skin. So if you're looking for something that you want to use as a really lightweight concealer, if you can find your color in a cream contour shade this is a great trick to just use it as a concealer and then I went in with the shades medium contour and medium contour 2 underneath the cheekbones onto the forehead and then I just went and blended that out with a beauty blender but oh my god it literally took forever with that beauty blender so I just decided to go in in the end with the Real Techniques buffing brush that I typically use for my ColourPop stick foundation and just blend it out because I did not like the way it was blending with the beauty blender and then I took the shade pink highlight and you can honestly skip this because, I mean, I liked it, the formula was good, but I just didn't like the color, so I put it on the cheekbones and the nose, but I prefer something with more of a golden sh or champagne tone to it, but I mean, it's okay. But then I'm going to go in with my NYX Stay Matte Not Flat Powder, of course my favorite setting the under eyes my smile lines and wherever I put that contour shade and then taking the shape shifter palette from Urban Decay I'm gonna be taking the contour shades it got a little too heavy-handed it was kind of dark so I blend that out and I'm just gonna bronze up my face with it and contour my nose I only contour my nose I don't like to contour my face so I go on to underneath of the tip, down the sides, and create a little heart on the tip of my nose to make it look like I have more of a button nose. And then taking the Too Faced Sweethearts Blush in Peach Beach, 
one of my favorite blushes using a stippling brush to put that on the apples of my cheeks and blend back. I love this blush because it gives a really, really beautiful glow. And I was sick, so I felt like my skin looked really dull, so that's why I like this blush. Then taking Precious Petals Highlight from Wet n Wild, highlighting my cheekbones. Um, on the very tops, I love it because it's a kind of a gold tone, and then on the cupid's bow and the nose. And then because, like I had said, I was sick, so I was feeling very, very dull looking, I took the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter on a big brush to dust on the center of my forehead and the chin because it, it's a very, very subtle highlight, so you can get away with it on the face. And then taking Orange Soda again, putting that as a transition shade on our lower lash line, Blending it far down is going to look kind of crazy at first, but in the end it will all work together. So just blending from outer corner to inner corner and taking Sienna with a flat definer brush, pressing that from outer corner to inner corner at only the base of the lower lashes. And don't try to blend with this flat definer brush because in the end we're going to go back in with a pencil brush as you see I'm doing right now. And let the orange soda shadow that's already there do the work blending underneath of that line for you. And then we're going to highlight the inner corner with tempera just to add a little bit of brightness to the eyes. I never skip an inner corner highlight because it just makes you look so much more awake. And then after I finish poking myself in the eye with mascara, we're going to put the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara on the lashes and just coating them to make our eyes look bigger again. And then taking the, I don't even know what these lipsticks are technically called, but they're from Too Faced. They came out with that peach line, taking the shade Everything is Peachy to coat the lips. And then to tone it down, we're going to take my favorite shade in the whole collection, which is Doll Face, which is a really beautiful kind of smoked peach nude, and putting that on the lips. And then the Balm Lip Gloss in the shade pop I believe which is the same color as what we have going on but glossy and that is the finished makeup look thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video bye